Begin with breaking news this noon. A two year old child has fallen down a manhole in New Jersey. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis is live in Union with the details this noon. Jenna? Chris and Mary, fire officials tell me the two year old boy was playing here with his mother when she saw he was missing and realized he fell into an open manhole here behind me, jumping in and rescuing him. I want to show you the hole where he fell in around 10 45 this morning at Kawame Park. You can see it's now covered. When the child fell in, fire officials say he began to float down with sewer water. The mother called 911, but when the child was out of sight, she put the phone down and jumped in. She was able to reach him and pull him out. Before first responders arrived, it's about six feet to the water and about two more feet below that, according to the battalion chief, who says the water was almost up to the child's neck, describing the mother's incredible rescue. When you're in a situation like that and your child, you're going to do anything you possibly can to save them. So it was amazing, more amazing that she was able to get them both out because there's no, there's no uh, access ladder or anything out in there. She must have grabbed onto the ledge and jumped out with both. He says after a powerful storm like Ida, pressure can pull manhole covers off. Workers could be seen searching other areas of the park this morning. The county and township, we're told, are now checking all parks or other remote areas where there could be an open manhole. And we're, the cho we're told the child didn't appear hurt, but may have ingested some sewer water. So he was taken to a local hospital to be checked out. We're live in Union, New Jersey. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Okay, wow. Thank you, Jenna.